This video is brought to you by WatchReviewBlog.com and WatchPod, specialty watch accessories for enthusiasts. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for video updates. When Longines releases a new chronograph, everyone should put down the coffee and cigars for just one moment, because the releases are always spectacular. The classic record chronograph we have today is no exception, and actually I might even say it's a step up from the usual. There's always a few things that Longines gets right each time, and that's the sizing, the retro styling, and the price point. Rarely are these aspects botched on a modern Longines watch. The record chrono comes in at 40 millimeters, rare from any brand as chronographs always tend to lean on the larger side of the spectrum, sometimes simply because of the movement that doesn't fit in smaller case sizes. This of course can be subjective depending on your wrist size, but 40 millimeters also happens to be a happy medium for those with small to large size wrists. Only a few other much more expensive watches get this right, watches like the Daytona, Zenith El Primero are in the sweet spot for size. But even if we venture into the space of the legendary Speedmaster, the sizing can still be awkward at 42mm and above average thickness. Long story short, it might sound simple to accomplish, but it's failed frequently by many brands, except for Longines that is. This is one of the first gilt dial Longines watches I've handled, and I do have to say it's striking probably due to the high polished applied Arabic numerals and indices against a flat black dial. This is not a gilt dial like a vintage Submariner. It has a little more pizzazz going on with the high polish markers. It's a very intricate dial that is only noticeable once you peer closer to examine the micro font of the inner tachymeter scale. We're all well aware at this point that Longines is sticking with ETA movements in all their mechanical watches. The one we have here in the record is the caliber L895. It's self-winding, beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and has a power reserve of 59 hours. The chronograph function is adequate. I wouldn't call it the smoothest due to the fairly stiff pushers and extra play of the pushers that need to be depressed about halfway before you get to the satisfying click. All in all, this is another fantastic release from Longines that they should be proud about. And it'll certainly garner some attention from the watch collecting community. Feel free to check out our full review on the watchreviewblog.com and don't forget to visit our online store, watchpodcases.com. Cheers!